Hi guys, welcome to Kylie's Kitchen. Thank you so much for all your emails and comments. So excited that you are enjoying our recipe so far. We have a super easy one for you today, barbecue chicken wings. Let's get into it. The main part of the dish, it actually doesn't really matter how many chicken wings you get, but I have got from Aldi two kilos of chicken wings. I was there, it's easy, done. Smoky barbecue sauce. Now, this recipe today is all about what I had in the cupboard. I didn't have time necessarily to go to the shop and make a real big fuss about it. Normally what I might get is the Master Foods um, smoky barbecue sauce that's actually in a jar. But this is what I had. I'm not wasting any money, so I'm going to use it. Water, half a cup of water. Aluminium foil, any brand, it does not matter. You just need to cover your chicken wings at some stage. And two trays. We wanna make sure that the chicken wings are nice and flat so they get as much of that barbecue sauce as possible. So two trays is what you will need. Let's get cooking. This time I haven't forgotten anything because it's really, really simple. Okay, great barbecue this weekend. You're wanting something nice and simple, perfect for the kids, perfect for loads of people. So it doesn't matter, like I said, how many chicken wings you do, just make sure you have a couple of uh, uh, smoky barbecue sauce or smoky barbecue marinade is what I normally use. So I'm just showing you this so that you can see the brand that I normally use. Master Foods, you might find another brand, it doesn't matter, but it's actually just more of in a, in a marinade style. But I'm going to be adding a little bit of water anyway, so it's actually not going to matter. So, in go my chicken wings. As I mentioned, I've got two kilos of chicken wings. Just put that to the side. And I'm going to make sure that I separate the chicken wings so that they're reasonably flat and they're not over the top of each other. Now this takes only about an hour and a half, that's what I love about it, especially if you know you've got friends coming over or you've only decided two, three hours ago that you're inviting some people over. And now the next step is the sauce. Anyone who loves smoky barbecue sauce is just gonna love seeing me do this at the moment. And yes, I know it does have a decent level of sugar in it, but hey, I didn't say it was completely healthy. I just said it was quick, it was easy, it's great for a barbecue. I'm not one to absolutely love steak and sausages um, when it comes to barbecues, but I do really love chicken wings and it's just a great different option to have, especially for birthday parties. I did forget one thing, tongs. But you're in a kitchen, clearly. So we're just going to fold over the chicken wings. The reason I'm doing this is because I've put the smoky barbecue sauce on the top and now I'd like it to be on the bottom so I can add just a little bit more. It's like when you have a bacon and egg roll, I don't know about anyone else, but oh gosh, I whack on so much barbecue sauce on that puppy. So good. It's just sweet, it's yummy. And food needs to be yummy, as well as healthy, so it's enjoyable. And these are really enjoyable. They become nice and crispy as well, if you do them well, but so soft and tender on the inside. Okay, a little bit more sauce, and then I'm gonna add some water. Now the sauce, obviously, parts of the sauce do evaporate a little bit. And then, the sticky bits. So here's my half a cup of water. Just popping some water over them. If you feel like you need a little bit more moisture, don't be afraid to go and get a little more water. Remember, I did half a cup, I had two kilos um, of the chicken wings. I'd be more than happy to add probably maybe even a quarter cup more of water inside each of the dishes. But what you're wanting the water to do is make that sauce and make that really strong, sticky, smoky barbecue sauce. Next step, how simple and easy it is. That's why I love it. Because sometimes we just don't have 
a lot of time to get creative or spend a lot of time in the kitchen, but we want to look like we've at least made an effort. This will be the next one. So I've set the oven to 180 to 200 degrees. Make sure your oven is boiling hot before you pop them in. Each tray is going to go in for 25 minutes, covered with the foil, and then we'll check how they're doing. And then normally I take the foil off after the first 25 minutes, and we'll turn them over and cook them for another 25, and then we'll check how the uh, chicken wings are doing after that. So in 25 minutes time, we are going to check on the smoky barbecue chicken wings and see how they're going. In an hour and a half, you will end up with slightly crispy on the outside and very tender chicken wings on the inside. Looking forward to showing you. Back to our smoky barbecue chicken wings. So we're going to check on them. They have been in the oven on about 190. So anywhere between 180 to 200. And they've been in there for 25 minutes with the foil over the top of them. And now we're going to remove the foil. We're going to flip them over and just check that water level as well. So let's take a look. Oh, they're looking good. Just kidding. They've got foil on them. Second tray coming out. We'll just have a quick look now. Um, remember, there's going to be a lot of steam that is trapped underneath the foil, so just make sure that your face and your hands are away from the steam. As you can see, it can be quite dangerous. Don't scrunch the um, foil up just in case you felt like you needed to reuse it. I don't reuse it because the next step is a little different. Chicken wings are looking good. This is what you, well, will expect. So just flipping them over, as you do, just make sure that you do basically swish them around a little bit in that marinade that you've made with the water and the smoky barbecue sauce. As I mentioned, you can get the uh, pre-made marinade or you can, uh, I would still add a little bit of water anyway to the marinade, or you can use the smoky barbecue sauce that you might have in the cupboard like I did today. Hope you're gonna enjoy this one just as much as if you enjoyed the other recipes that we've had on Kylie's Kitchen. I was just thinking then, I was going to say, my husband really loves this, and I think I've actually said that a lot. Um, so I'm just wondering if he does really love my dishes or he just says it, so I feed him. Yes, I would probably say it too, so I feed him. So that's what it should look like. Nice and messy with a lot of smoky barbecue sauce. And let's pop them back into the oven for another 25 minutes. For those of you who might have just joined us, we're doing smoky barbecue Chicken wings, super easy. We only needed a couple of things to get this recipe going, but they will take about an hour and a half in total. So great if you're having a barbecue on the weekend. So we'll pop them back into the oven now for 25 minutes and then we'll check on them once again after that to turn them over. So this dish is our smoky barbecue chicken wings. It's all about time, time for a time break. I'm just joking, we've got to check them one more time. The great thing is, is there's 25 minutes between the three times that we check our so yummy smoky barbecue chicken wings. So I'm just going to flip them over, make sure that I get that moisture. I can smell the barbecue sauce. I only wish you could smell it too. So now we're going to pop them back in for another 25 minutes. It's going to be quarter past the hour when I actually check them. And then we'll probably see how they'll sit. Normally I put them in for another 15 minutes and then that's it. Okay, in we go. Smoky barbecue chicken wings coming up. Just check that temperature is still, yep, 185 looking good, 190. So anywhere between 180 to 200 degrees. Um, and we're just going to put them in for our third lot of 25 minutes and then we'll see what they look like. Make sure that that moisture and that sauce is still marinating those chicken wings just perfectly. So we've just taken out the barbecue chicken wings out of the oven and look how good they look. They're getting nice and brown and crisp. Now we're going to flip them over for the last time. I'm going to put them in for another 15 minutes and then that will be it. As you can see, this tray has been on the top. This has been on the bottom and you can see that because we have browner chicken wings on this side. So this time around, this tray must go on the top. 
And as you can also see, it's still moist. We've still got that beautiful sauce base, but the sauce is becoming thicker and you also want that so that it becomes a little more sticky but they are looking just divine. So we have now flipped over our smoky barbecue chicken wings. We are going to pop them back in the oven for 15 minutes. Our temperature is anywhere between 180 to 200. We're currently sitting on 185, and this tray was on the bottom last time. I'm gonna put it back on the top instead. In we go. Fifteen minutes and we've got some beautiful smoky barbecue chicken wings ready. Make sure you put your timer on. We do want to make sure that they do crisp and brown and when we bring them out we won't be spinning them around or marinating them in any more of the sauce. We want to keep them nice and crispy on the top and then they'll be ready. Smoky barbecue chicken wings. We have just taken them out for the last time, which was the fourth time, and they look Perfect. So nice and crispy. They're going to be beautiful and moist inside because we did use the foil for the first 25 minutes and they've taken about an hour and a half to complete, but they are looking pretty good and I'm going to show you how we dish them up. Nice and simple, just on a nice clean white plate. We might even try one. Here we have it. Smoky barbecue chicken wings. Super easy and hopefully nice and tasty. Everyone knows who subscribed to Kylie's Kitchen, how much I love this part. It's called Gloves Off. And let's try these smoky barbecue chicken wings. Hmm, which one should I go for? I actually always love the drumstick part of the chicken wing. So, hmm, mm-hmm, mm. I've gotta say, I love the saltiness that the smoky barbecue sauce gives. And I think that that part really stands out when it comes to these chicken wings. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not a very neat experience for the person watching. So I wouldn't eat these in front of too many other people, but make sure you do use your fingers because they are pretty good. And I've got to say, the crispy bit, and nice and crispy. If you love this chicken recipe, be sure to add it to your collection. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so you can keep being updated with some of our great recipes we have to come. Just press the red button underneath the video. And if you want to see more recipes, make sure you check out our blog, lifestyle.com.au. We'll see you next time on Kylie's Kitchen. Don't worry, I'll move your lighting for you, James. No worries. <laughs> Do everything around here. Is that my good side? <laughs> cheese! That's what my niece does when she takes a photo. She goes, cheese! <laughs> and barbecue wings for, for whenever you want. I don't know what I was going to say then.